Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reacting to episode four of Maxton Hall. So last week I reacted to episode three, and just a quick recap of what happened in episode three.、Um, well, James and Ruby they continue to work together to、um, organize this party, and James he brought Ruby to one of his family's、uh, shops. And they tried on some clothes, and and yeah, they were having fun. And Ruby, she looked so beautiful in this、uh, Victorian era dress. And yeah, but then、um, James's parents came to the store, and it got so tense because James's father, you know, he criticized Ruby and looked down on Ruby and was very condescending to Ruby because. She was poor, and he did not like the fact that James was hanging out with Ruby and that she was in this store.、Um, and so Ruby, she ended up going home, and she was very upset. And James, he just stood there. He didn't defend Ruby to his father, even though he should have. But James did apologize to Ruby later for her his behavior.、Um, And also, one of the main things that happened in episode three is that James he released the picture, released the photo of James and Ruby together that was taken when they were at the store together, and he turned that picture into the poster for the party. And it was and the photo, the photo was hanging in the hallway of the store, and everyone saw it, and. It created a lot of、um, a lot of buzz. Like all the students, you know, they were scrutinizing Ruby. You know, they were being so jealous. All the kid, all the girls were being so jealous of Ruby, and and Ruby, she was very upset because she was not used to all the attention.、Um, but with this poster, now everyone in the school is talking about Ruby and. And just making things worse for her,、um, and yeah, and she's just trying to get used to you know all the attention that she's getting now.、Um, and James, he invited Ruby to this house party. She initially didn't want to go, but then she ended up going, and they had this very romantic moment when they danced together, which was very nice. I really loved that. Part. But then、um, one of James's、uh, friends, he pushed Ruby into the pool on purpose, and that really upset her. It triggered some sort of trauma from her past.、Um, and James, he he jumped into the pool to save Ruby because she couldn't swim and. And so, you know, he carried her into the car and was taking her home. And while they were in the car, Ruby finally told James her backstory about what happened in her childhood and why her father ended up in a wheelchair. And we found out that when she was very little, she accidentally drowned、um, in the water. And her father jumped jumped into the water to save her, but a boat appeared out of nowhere and accidentally hit her father, and that's how he became paralyzed and ended up in a wheelchair. And Ruby, she feels very guilty. She feels very responsible for what happened, even though it was an accident.、Um, but she still blames herself for what happened to her dad. And yeah, that's basically the end of episode three. Another thing I almost forgot to mention is that the show is actually set in England, which was a huge shock to me because in the beginning, during the first two episodes, I thought that the show takes place in Germany since it's a German series and everyone speaks German. But no, the show. And the school, Maxton Hall, the school that they all go to, is actually located in England, which is so funny to me and so weird to me because 
they are supposed to be in England, but everyone speaks in German. <laughs> It's so funny. Let's get into episode four and see what happens. So we pick up immediately after the ending of episode three, which had both James and Ruby in the car together. Oh, I really like this moment between them. It's so romantic. Wait, is this a dream sequence? Wait, is this real or is it a dream? Why do I feel like this is a dream and not really? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a dream. This is a dream. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's a dream. It's a dream. She's smelling his scent. Die Menschen schließen einander nicht zwangsläufig aus. Man kann sich Menschen nah fühlen, die Kilometer weit von einem entfernt sind, oder bemerken, dass man jemanden vertraut, den man vor nicht mal zwei Wochen noch meinte zu hassen. Just two weeks ago, yeah, yes, <laughs> they hated each other when they first met, and now they're like madly in love with each other in a span of just two weeks. <laughs> Their relationship is really. Developing very quickly. Actually, the whole show, the whole story, is like moving very quickly. But that's understandable because season one only has six episodes, so it makes sense that the pacing of the story is moving very quickly. But it kind of feels rushed a bit. Oh. So James came to pick her up. That's cute. It's so great to see them like now getting along and you know and being attracted to each other, having feelings for each other. When in the first episode they were like constantly at each other's throats. Yeah, and everyone's gossiping about them, and the other girls are jealous. Yeah, she she still feels uncomfortable about all the attention. Yeah, exactly. Don't let them get to you. Just mind your own business. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm. I'm glad that Ruby, you know, she's starting to, you know, um, adjust to all the attention. Like she's trying not to let all the attention, all the scrutiny, get to her. You know, she's just continuing to mind her own business. Oh, this idiot! This was the guy who pushed Ruby in the pool at the party. Oh, I can't stand him. I don't know his name, but I can't stand him. <laughs> hmm. We saw in episode two that James's father pays more attention to James and not as much attention as to Lydia. So I'm glad that you know we ha now have this moment between Lydia and the father because at least they're spending some time together. You know, I feel like in the second episode there was this tension between father and daughter. Oh, mm -hmm. eh, everything is still about James. Oh my gosh! So he only wanted information about Ruby from Lydia. He still doesn't actually 
care about her. I, well, I, I'm sure he still cares about his daughter, but clearly not as much as how much he cares about James. Can ruin your life. You had to pay your ex-boyfriend five hundred thousand to destroy the photos he took of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was revealed that、um, Lydia had gotten into trouble before. I'm sure that caused some tension between her and her father. Oh my God! So the father is going to manipulate Lydia into finding out information about James's relationship with Ruby. Oh my gosh, that is so, that is so wrong. To use your own kids like that, I I really don't like their father. I do not like their father. Oh, these stupid gossips! Good, that was a good comeback. Like, don't even waste your time on those bitches. Honestly, these bitches, these bullies, they do not deserve your attention. Just ignore them, Ruby. Well, of course, because you helped organize the party, James. Oh, so it's Ruby's birthday. Is he going to spend her birthday with her? Uh oh! What? Oh! 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 She wanted fresh, and they brought live animals. We could slaughter them ourselves. <laughs> this is this is kind of funny. Uh oh! Here comes the headmaster. Are they in trouble? Yeah, it's obvious that Lydia is still in love with the teacher, and she's jealous that he's talking to the other teacher. And I think the teacher also is in love with, still in love with Lydia. But. Wenn Sie eine Frage zur Klausur haben, dann wissen Sie ja, wo Sie mich finden, Miss Bowfall. Aber ich muss jetzt wirklich zurück. Ist es wirklich so einfach für dich? No, I don't think. I don't think this is easy for the teacher at all. War das nicht genau der Plan, so zu tun, als wäre das alles nie passiert? Das ist eigentlich meine Woche vergangen und du rennst hier um, als wärst du nie glücklich. Ich soll ich denn sonst rumrennen, wie jemand, der die Liebe seines Lebens verloren hat? Yeah, yeah. This is an all, all an act. I mean, it hurts him too because they obviously love each other, but they can't be together, and they're trying to move on. Hello, Mr. Sutton. Hmm. It's hard for both of them. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea for them to get back together. Pack unseren Kram und fang irgendwo von vorne an. Pack unseren Kram und fang irgendwo von vorne an. Pack unseren Kram und fang irgendwo von vorne an. Pack unseren Kram und fang irgendwo von vorne an. Pack unseren
pack up and start somewhere else? Are they going to run away together? Or the leaving your home, your family, your friends? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, they both have very strong feelings for each other. I mean, it's not just a fling between a teacher and a student because their feelings for each other obviously runs very deep. It's like this forbidden love that they have. And not just, it's not just a crush, it's not just a fling. It's the love between them is real and that's what makes it so hard for them both. Okay, this is a gay bühner, can't wait. And how best you can start with blöde Sprüche to bring? Yeah, klar. Do you remember I like that James's friends are helping them in a way. Morgan with us, dear James. Mr. Beaufort. Junior. Hmm. There's so much pressure put on James. I have the press chef for morgen Abend nach der press conference to dinner and drinks. The press conference be ready. Oh. Okay, so this press conference is going to. Coincide with the Maxine Hall party. Oh. Oh no. His father is forcing him to choose between going to this press conference or going to the party. So basically he's forcing James to choose between his family and spending time with Ruby. Oh my gosh. Oh, happy birthday, Ruby. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, it's not a gift. It's not a gift from her mom. It's a gift from James. Oh, that's nice. It's so nice. I love this. I love this moment with Ruby and her family. I know I keep saying this, but I just love Ruby's relationship with her family. It's one of my favorite parts of this show. Dad had dinner drinks with the press chef at the conference. I'm going to get the guy and make some for person. We had heute Geburtstag. Ich weiß, dass das Event wichtig ist für die Firma. Für Dad, für Mom, für Lydia. Hmm. Yeah, he's torn. Like, James is torn between his um, obligation and what he wants to do. Because he knows that this conference, dinner, is important for his parents and for the company, but he would rather go to the party and spend time with Ruby. I like that, you know, James, you know, he's able to confide with his driver. Like, at least he has something, at least he has someone to talk to. <laughs> I like them. I love them together so much. <laughs> they really do make a cute couple.
<laughs> I really love this scene. I love this whole moment between them, seeing them having fun together, seeing all of them, you know, getting along and having fun together. I really like this. Jemima. It means dove. Ah, okay. So her middle name means dove. That's cute. M steht für Mortimer. Bei meinem Vater. Mortimer. Oh, okay. So his name's at. He's named after his father. Kann und hat mich kommen. Wir launchen unsere neue Linie Young Beaufort und Dad würde sich den Chef des Pressverbands kennenlernen. Hmm. I kind of had a feeling like as much as James wanted to go to the party and wanted to spend time with Ruby, but I think at the end of the day, James will always choose his parents, choose his family. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Like he doesn't want to be the head of Young Beaufort, and he doesn't want to take over the business, but. It's something that he's forced into doing because he's the heir of the family. It's his duty as the son to one day take over the business. It's true. Like he has all the privilege. He comes from a rich family. He's very privileged, but he has no control in his life. You know, his whole life has been basically planned out for him by his parents, you know. He just went, James, he just wants to live his own life, you know, do what he wants to do. But he feels so pressured. I'm glad that Ruby is so understanding. You know, even though she can't relate to James's situation, but Ruby, I have the last one. Well, then why can't you with him to work together? And now they ask me, Mr. Buford, to cut the price. Oh, she's trying to have James's suspicion shortened. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, James has been a big help to the party. Good. Really? Yeah. After the party and your reprimandless applause, can Mr. Beaufort wieder zum Kreis fällt. Thank you, sir. I'm glad that Ruby is doing this for James. I mean, yeah, it's true that he misbehaved in the beginning. He ruined the party in the beginning, but. Ever since then, like ever since they started working together, you know, James has improved a lot. He has really redeemed himself. You know, he has become a big help um, in reorganizing this party, and you know, he's, you know, his character is gradually improving. You know, and I think you know after everything that he has done to help Ruby. He deserves like he deserves a shorter suspension. He deserves to get back on that lacrosse field, and I'm glad that Ruby is doing this for him. Oh, London is so beautiful. I really want to visit London someday. The head of this new Young Beaufort line, but James got the job. I think one of the main reasons why, you know, Lydia has been passed over, is because of her past scandals. Because I remember it was said that she got in trouble. Before and then, with her relationship with her teacher, I guess, I guess her father kind of sees Lydia as a liability, and he doesn't want to risk 
you know, the reputation of Beaufort. And I think that's probably one of the main reasons why, you know, James is the heir. You know, James is the head of the new Beaufort line instead of Lydia. So, oh, I love that dress so much. She looks so beautiful in that dress. Hmm. Yeah, her parents are so proud of her. Man kann ein ganzes Leben mit Sirian verbringen. Aber nur wer den Sprung wagt, weiß, was jenseits der Klippe auf uns wartet. Ein Abgrund? Oder auf. So James is going to the party while Lydia is going to. Replace him at the conference. Yeah, he's at the party. Yeah, I think Lydia really deserves that. You know, she she deserves the recognition. The recognition because, if I remember correctly, they said that the young Beaufort line was originally Lydia's idea, but she did not get the credit、um, that she deserved because of her past scandals, I guess. But now, you know, it's Lydia's time to shine. You know, now Lydia, you know, she gets her chance to really, you know, show her family what she's capable of. I like it. I like that Lydia is finally standing up to her father, and so is James. You know, James and Lydia. I I like that they are both starting to, you know, defy their parents. They're starting to, you know. Not be so submissive and and follow their parents every every order. Do whatever their parents tell them to do. Lydia is finally gaining her confidence. She knows that you know she deserves to lead Beaufort. She's there where she belongs, and he's here where he belongs, which is with Ruby. Klingt, als würdest du dich von mir verabschieden wollen. Are they going to kiss? Oh, I'm glad they finally kissed. There's so much chemistry between these actors. I really ship them a lot now. So sieht das also aus, wenn du weißt, was von dir erwartet wird. Uh oh. Oh no. So that was Maxton Hall season one episode four.、Um, I really enjoyed this episode. I think it's a really good episode. I enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed episode three. I think this show is really getting better with each episode.、Um, I really like how 
Ruby and James's relationship is progressing, even though it feels a, a bit rushed. But since season one only has six episodes, it's understandable that the story is progressing very quickly. But I don't mind it.、Um, I really like、uh, how James and Ruby are now bonding, and you know they are, you know, getting to know each other better. You know they are. Falling in love with each other, I really love the development of their relationship, and I like how James and his sister Lydia are starting to gain more confidence in themselves, and I, and they are starting to defy their parents. You know, they're not just doing whatever their parents told them to do. I like how towards the end of the episode, you know,、um, James instead of going to this. Conference dinner that he was supposed to go. He went to the、um, the party at Maxton Hall instead to spend more time with Ruby. In the end, he wanted to do what he wanted to do, which was to spend time with Ruby. And Lydia, Lydia, she attended this conference dinner in James's place because she gained the confidence、uh, in herself to really stand up to her father and say, "Look." This was my idea, you know. This、uh, young Beaufort line, this new line, was my idea, and I deserve to be here. I deserve to be, you know, the head of this new line because it was my idea, and I'm more qualified. And、I'm, I really like that, you know, Lydia. You know, she has so much more confidence in herself now.、I'm、glad that both James and Lydia ended up where they belong.、Um, Lydia at this conference dinner, and James at the party with Ruby. One of my favorite moments in the episode was that kiss. I'm so glad that James and Ruby they finally kissed. It was a very romantic moment. There's definitely a lot of chemistry between the actors. But sadly, that moment was ruined when James's father came to the party and he interrupted them.、Um, I think James is going to be in a lot of trouble with his father now because he disobeyed his father and decided to come to the party instead of going to the conference、um, dinner thing. So yeah, I I definitely think there's going to be. You know more tension between James and his father now. And speaking of James's father, I really do not like him. He is such a horrible parent. You know he is so arrogant, so narcissistic, so controlling of his children.、Um, but I feel like that's very typical of a lot of rich. Parents, you know, they are all, you know, very rich and very controlling.、Um, But like I said before, you know the actor who plays James's father, he is really doing a very good job of making me hate the character, because you know we are not supposed to like James's father. He obviously villain, and I think the actor is doing a really good job of playing the villain of the story. I mean, of course, I'm sure there are other you know characters. Bad characters who are kind of villainous, like the other students at the school who are jealous of Ruby and her relationship with James, who, you know, tease Ruby. But I think it's obvious that the main villain of the story is definitely James's father, and I think he definitely plays a very good villain.、Um, as a villain, he's very good, but as a character as a whole, I really dislike. James's father.、Um, anyway, so I really enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to watching episode five.、Um, if you enjoyed the, this reaction, and if you want to watch my reactions to the previous episodes, please check out my Maxton Hall playlist. I will put the link to that playlist in the description box below. And if you want to watch more reaction videos from me in the future, please subscribe to my channel as well. Um, so that's it for me today. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.